Hi everyone and welcome back to the Sandbrook Adventures. It really is wonderful reading all of your lovely comments, hearing that you're enjoying our content on this channel so far. We're having an amazing time setting up our first ever home together and we are loving taking you all along for the journey. So Charlotte and I would just like to say a huge thank you for all of your support. Now Charlotte's actually gone shopping down to Tesco this morning, so we'll see what she brings back um, after she's come back from the shop. I'm gonna be making a start on the garden. Now, of course, the back garden um, needs a huge transformation. And also as well, I'm gonna be building my theme park museum in the back there as well for all of my collection. Uh, obviously, back at my old house, I had the world of theme parks, which was a pretty large shed at the time uh, with all my collection in. Well, that's come over here, and I'm also getting another shed as well and joining it all together to make one large theme park collection. Uh, so what I'm gonna be doing on this channel is showing you kind of the build of the garden, the sheds and then everyone theme park worldwide when it's time to actually kit it out and put all the theme park stuff in uh, I'll be covering it on that channel so yeah it's gonna be across the two um, but yeah first I thought I'm gonna take you upstairs and show you out the bedroom window kind of what I've done with the garden already because what I've done I've used some uh, spray paint and I've actually marked out on the grass how it's all going to look Still not the nicest of weather out there today, however, a bit of rain doesn't put me off. I'm really enjoying cracking on with everything, and whilst we're waiting for more things to be delivered for our bedroom and in the rest of the house, I thought it'd be perfect to crack on with the garden. So yeah, here we go. What you can actually see is all the white markings there that I've put down, uh, because we're having no grass in the back garden at all, because we want it nice and easy maintenance. Obviously, we're always busy going to places and doing things. We want it nice, easy maintenance, so yeah, we're not going to have any real grass. We're probably going to have some AstroTurf down. However, yeah, what I've done here is marked out the plan. So to start off, down the bottom here, I mean, I'll show you this from on ground level as well. You can see this first white line closest to the uh, edge of the camera at the bottom. That's where we're going to have some nice fiberboard decking coming out to there. That's coming next week. So yeah, I'm sure we'll get cracked on with that. This shed on the left-hand side, this actually came with the house. However, uh, we're either going to not keep the shed and sell it, or I'm going to move it a little bit further back out the way as like a tool cupboard. Because, yeah, um, it's not going to be staying in that location. Because the markings just behind it, as in here, this is where the old world of theme parks um, is going to be going in a new form. So, yeah, you can see that's all marked out ready to go there wasn't that big was it really when you look at this and i mean the garden is a good size here so it's perfect for doing what i want to do but yeah what we're going to be doing um, is making a nice entrance theme structure here and then that's going to lead straight in now bear in mind that was the size of the old world of theme parks the british theme park museum is going to take up all of this space down the bottom here so you can see where the white line goes across we're going to be having a big shed all the way down there joining up to this one so it'd be like a big L shape. In the middle there, you can see I've just put some um, flooring down at the moment there just to kind of cover over the grass. Um, that's literally just a temporary measure, but just to mark out where the middle of the garden is. I've measured it all up. Um, so that's the central point of the garden where we're going to do some nice landscape rocks. Just off to the right, where you can see I've marked out there, I'm planning on having some sort of water feature, maybe a small pond with some nice rocks around. You know me, I love theming and rocks and that sort of thing. This isn't going to be a normal garden. It's going to be very quirky, really different um, when it's done. So yeah, I can't wait to show you it all. That's why I thought I'll show you this now, and then we'll see how it looks in a few weeks' time. And then down the bottom here, this whole area is going to be left open, because obviously we don't want the whole garden blocked in. And yeah, we're going to be having uh, maybe some AstroTurf down here um, to kind of finish it all off but yeah that's the old shed just there as in the world of theme parks all wrapped up next couple of days that's coming out as you're going to see in this video and he's going to take over this area here uh, and then down the bottom here the decking is going to start to go in and then we're maybe going to have some sort of canopy here as well so we can get from the house over into the british theme park museum so there we go, that's the garden master plan. Obviously it's going to take a little bit of time for it to come together, however, I'm enjoying just working on it and putting it all together, putting my stamp on things, and yeah, Dad's going to be coming around as well, helping with it, uh, and yeah, it's going to be great. This big shed I've got from the bottom has now been ordered as well, um, so yeah, that's going to be coming in the next couple of weeks, and that's going to start going up as well, piece by piece. It is absolutely massive. Um, but yeah, right, let's go and have a look around on ground level and give you more of an idea on the perspective and the size of the garden great especially for a new build 
So yeah, that decked area I was talking about is actually going to come out to the white line just here. So I actually used some of these slabs for a little project I was doing at the front of the house because I knew that all this was going to be covered over. So yeah, I took them up and used them around the front. And uh, yeah, as you can see with this, the decking is going to come out 2.4 meters all the way across this back area. And it's going to go right into that corner all the way across down here to the end. There's the Alton Towers bookworm <laughs> in two pieces, ready of course to move into its new home shortly. Um, so yeah, that's the plan with the decking. Yeah, it's gonna go all the way across down here. Now actually, I've got some nice lights. Got these from Costco the other night. We'll do a Costco vlog at some point. It was just a last minute trip, so I didn't have my camera with me. Well, yeah, as you can see, got some nice lights. These are only temporary in this area. Uh, they are gonna be going up um, over the canopy at some point, which we're gonna be building out here um, at some point in the future. But I think we're gonna wait for the sheds to be in before deciding what to do with that. Um, but yeah, I got those from Costco. Thought, why not? I think they're about 65 pounds and I think there's 24 bulbs on there. So yeah, outdoor use, of course, uh, with the nice, because the proper commercial ones with the nice thick wire just there, nice bulbs, yeah, and obviously LED as well, so they don't get hot or anything, um, and easier to run. Great thing about this house, it already had outdoor plug sockets, already built in just here, which is good. However, Charlotte's dad's also an electrician, so he might be helping us out, do a couple of bits with the sheds, which will be really kind of him. And talking of the sheds, obviously we've got this one here. So yeah, initially, I'm gonna take the stuff out of here, because I've filled it up with loads of stuff already. And the plan is maybe to keep it initially and put it down the side there um, as like a bit of a tool cupboard, something like that. But um, yeah, I'll need painting up and obviously a new piece of uh, glass or something putting in there because I've just put some cardboard in for now just to, uh, just to cover it over. And then yeah, this is going to be the decked area and this is going to also expand out here. And then the doorway is going to be around here that's going to lead into the old World of Theme Park shed, which will be all around here. This is actually marked out, ready to dig a little bit down so we can put the bookworm in that position. Now, if you remember in the old shed, it actually used to be in the middle just here, um, but we've moved into the left because there's gonna be a doorway here that's gonna lead through into this massive shed all the way down the bottom here. It's actually six by four meters. So yeah, that's gonna be really fun to put up. I'm looking forward to doing that. <laughs> Oh, it's going to be a good life. Got all these bricks, brought these from the old house because I thought they might come in as part of foundations and building up some of the ground a little bit. Um, and then, yeah, obviously over here, going to have some sort of water feature, like a pond um, in this area as well. So, yeah, as you can see, it's a good sized garden, really, especially for a new build. This massive shed going in down here at the bottom. And then, yeah, we'll have some uh, astroturf kind of all around this area. Worth pointing out for access as well, for painting and maintaining the sheds. They're not going to be pushed all the way up against the fence and um, we're going to be leaving a good gap probably out to this white line here at first i was looking at this one um, then i moved it out a bit just so we can put some slabs all the way around the outskirts there um, just for maintenance well there we go that's the garden master plan i'm sure some of you are watching this thinking seems like a lot of work that sean uh, well it is and i know that it is too however it's a passion project of mine to have somewhere to put all of my theme park collection I loved having the world of theme parks in my old house, um, but my collection just outgrew it. I've been collecting stuff for over 20 years, and now I need something that's like four times the size, which this is going to be. So really exciting, because it's not just going to be the collection. Uh, there'll be like another living room in there. Uh, there'll be some seating so we can actually go in and enjoy it. Instead of just going in and looking at it, we can sit in there, watch TV, and just enjoy the ambience of it. And also as well, there'll be a studio as part of it as well, with all the nice lighting and everything we need for filming content for theme park worldwide so yeah very exciting i'm gonna go and make a start doing some digging in the garden now and charlotte will be back from a shop at tesco soon Well, it might look like I'm building a dive coaster or something in the back garden, but uh, here we go. That isn't the plan yet. <laughs> As you can see, I'm making progress on the big hole, which is going to be for the bookworm, and then this for a theming feature that I'm going to be working on at a later date. But uh, here we go. Charlotte's back from Tesco. Back a fortnight's party salad. Oh, isn't that lovely? I'm oh, going to wow. add that 
I'm gonna have that for my dinner with some nice boiled eggs. A party salad. A party salad. Does that mean it's for multiple people? A party salad. Yeah, but you can have, you can split it, can't you? And have half each day. Oh, there you go. Nice party, party salad. Party salad. And Tesco. Also got some baking stuff. I'm gonna give you a glimpse of what we're gonna be doing. I got some edible. Oh. So we're gonna be doing a, a Halloween cupcake bake. There we go. Some yeah, nice it's been. Bread. Roberts, we like that, don't we? Yeah, we like that. Bread. I used to have Warburton's, but I like the Roberts I like this now. One. It's nice. Isn't it? There we go. Got some toilet rolls down here. Yes. Got Andrex. We got on posh, have we? I didn't have anything, so that's all we had to have. From Tesco, that's why. Five quid. Yeah, expensive. Toilet roll, oh, man. yeah, Tesco. We'll be going to Aldi a lot. I'll be I think. going back to Aldi in the middle, I think. Yeah, we went to Aldi, didn't we, last yeah, week? Nice. You can't get all your shopping from there, but you can get most of it. There you go. But yeah, little look, and like I said, we got to Halloween bake coming up on the channel. In just a few days' time. Can you know? Hey. Nice classic. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Right, yeah, I'm going to carry on doing a bit more digging. It's not started to rain just yet. Well, I did some more digging in the garden after that last clip before calling it a day. And then, yeah, it's bright and early the next morning now. Really busy and exciting day on the way. I'm up nice and early. My dad's on his way round and he's coming to help me build up the barn shed, the former world of theme parks, which is the first phase of this big transformation that I'm going to be doing in the back garden. But uh, yeah, really excited to get this up. I've had this shed for 10 years. It's where I started theme park worldwide and I've brought this with me to my new house. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to this one. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna be making a start nice and early with Dad this morning. I'm gonna get some time-lapse footage and a bit of other footage, of course, along the way of this going up in the garden. Here we go then. So I've been working for a couple of hours now. Yeah, I did the base. And then of course, we've put the four walls up just here as well. Now, you might be thinking, hang on a minute, why is there a massive hole in the side just here? Well, that's gonna be staying like that for now, as you're gonna find out with the big shed that's gonna be coming here. We're gonna kind of connect it all together uh, somehow. Like, that's the, the big question, isn't it? Is Dad over here? Yeah, it's coming together all right, really, isn't it? So it is, yeah, yeah, we're getting there. It's nicer to see this one uh, going up here. Uh, also as well, what Dan actually did was moved the hole in the floor. Obviously this is where the bookworm is going to go. Before, that was over in the middle just here. But what he's done is moved it off to the right because obviously we're going to have an access door here which is going to lead down into the main parts of the British Theme Park Museum. What we've also done is actually built the shed the other way around this time because the doors were here before. What we've actually done uh, is put the back um, as the front and there's going to be a door cut out in the middle there, which is gonna lead in, you'll be greeted by the bookworm, and then of course head in to the rest of the museum just here. But uh, yeah, up next, time to uh, put the roof on. Well, we're a few hours in and the barn shed is up just here. Obviously, we've got the felt to put on shortly. Sun's come out again now. We did have a little bit of worry that the rain was going to come in. And obviously, it's not a very fun project putting up a shed um, if it rains. But yeah, it's coming on nicely. Obviously, this is the one that came with the house. Obviously, you saw that during the um, initial tour that we did. And uh, yeah, the plan is with this, probably to get rid of it in the long run. But it's not going to be staying there because obviously, all this is going to be decked and we've got landscaping to go in. Looks like a garden centre at the moment, isn't it? Like loads of sheds just everywhere. Uh, you see nothing yet. Um, but yeah, this one's going to be just put into that corner initially, and then we'll probably have that gone at some point. But uh, I think initially it's good just for storage for tools and that sort of thing whilst working on um, the garden here. But uh, yeah, it's all coming together nicely. So like I say, yeah, there's going to be the decking all around here, and that's going to go in through a door here. And yeah, all this is coming on nicely. I'm just going to have all the landscaping just around here. And yeah, this is where the big sheds going down here the big daddy shed and as we can see here's a look at the inside so yeah it's all now being screwed together so we're going to get some felt on in just a moment but yeah it's looking good 
Yeah, really nice. Pleased with it so far. Here we go then. So it took about 45 minutes or so to get a couple of pieces of felt on. But yeah, Dad's just been doing that and obviously really, really been a one person job. I've been starting to dig the garden just over here. It's coming on. And now I'm having a rest now. Yeah. <laughs> We're doing well though today. Yeah, doing really well. Yeah, getting it all up. Because obviously, you know, the weather hasn't been the best. We are towards the end of October now as well. So it's making the most of it. But uh, yeah, I've started literally just digging down here because the garden's going to be really heavily landscaped. So we've got some fiberboard decking that I've just ordered that's gonna go all the way down here. So it's actually gonna stretch all the way along the back, which will be nice, because then the double door's gonna open out onto the deck in, looking at some sort of cover over there at some point in the future, but obviously that's not the priority yet. Firstly, it's sorting out all this, but yeah, barn's coming up really nice, actually. And then, yeah, I'm just digging the edge here now where there's gonna be some astroturf all down here, put some fake grass in, and then just past that, is going to be some nice landscaping, possibly a water feature just over there. And then, yeah, we're going to have some nice rocks and stuff around here as well. Maybe do like a little bridge or something over here. I'm not too sure yet. I haven't decided, but uh, yeah, it's coming on nicely. Now, this big square here, obviously, that's the first thing I marked out. I did put um, some black um, on the floor just, but uh, yeah, I've took that up now because before the shed, that was kind of like my anchor point to plan the garden. Now, obviously, I've took that up because I'm going to be digging up all of this grass that you can see here putting it down at the bottom for now because obviously we need to build up the garden a bit for a nice foundation ready for the big shed that's going to be coming in a few weeks time down there see so yeah, i've took this up now going to start um digging this and you know why i put a square in this corner well anybody remember my nice big christmas tree well that's going to be going up there in a few weeks time obviously as we go into november going to be having a nice big christmas tree just here which will be lovely because it means we're going to be able to see it from the kitchen whilst we're doing the washing up and also as well when we're eating our christmas dinner looking out just here at the nice big trees so yeah it's all coming along nicely well, thanks to my dad's help, we managed to get the barn shed up in just under six hours, which is really good going, considering it's quite a big shed. Granted, it's not as big as the one that's coming. However, um, yeah, it still took quite a while to get the foundations right. And then really, it was just screwing it all together. Uh, the hardest bit, of course, is getting it all level and making sure uh, that it's going to be nice and stable, especially because we're connecting another shed to it. This was kind of put this in place, and then it gives us an idea on how the big L shape is going to come together uh, when we work out how we're going to join it all um but yeah as soon as we put the shed up of course it was putting the felt on and so yeah my dad mostly did that because really it's a one person job uh putting the nails in however i did the ones on the top uh, and got those all fastened on whilst dad was doing that obviously as he saw i was doing some digging of the garden and that brings me to this morning where it's a new day and i'm going to show you the progress that i've made because i've just finished digging that part of the garden and also i've got a delivery that's about 20 minutes away of some really nice decking so yeah i'm going to show you that as soon as it gets here. Da, 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 da. and there we go the barn shed is up so yeah thanks dad for helping me out with that one because uh, it really is a two-person job and yeah i tell you what it's looking pretty good also i finished digging the grass up just over here obviously i've put it all down there at the bottom for now because that is where the other shed is going to be going across and yeah i've just laid them bricks there for now just so i knew where to dig out to i've measured that all out and uh, yeah obviously it's going to go across the front just here there's going to be three glass windows in here as well and that's all going to look out over this part of the garden but yeah all this is dug up nicely up to this point because i've just had a delivery of the decking just here so yeah instead of going for wooden decking i've gone for this composite kind of fiberboard stuff um which can last up to 30 years they say so yeah this stuff looks really good quality so it's not wooden it's like a plastic uh it means you don't need to stain it you don't need to paint it it's coming gray of course to match the color scheme we're going for and yeah these are 2.4 meter boards i've ordered 55 of these um so yeah these are going to go all the way across here i mean this is in a bit of a mess for now that's my next job um but yeah these are going to actually be laid all the way across obviously you need to build a framework and stuff first so that's going to be a job for another day however um yeah you get a good idea now of how the garden's going to be obviously this is looking out from the house here so yeah they're going to go all the way across the back and also as well it's time to say goodbye to this shed in this location um because yeah the decking is going to continue on this way 
obviously up to this corner and then we're going to need to extend the decking out to where there is going to be a door here that's going to lead into the British theme park museums yeah it's all nicely um, laid out uh, obviously with the decking we just thought to make it easier we'll just have it 2.4 meters wide because we thought there's no point in in cutting these and I mean you can do and we're going to need to cut a few here but there was no point in having it a different length we thought let's just go for 2.4 meters that comes out to here so yeah i'm really pleased about that so that's going to give us enough space to have a outdoor kind of dining set and stuff on here uh, obviously where i've dug up all the turf this is going to be a mix of the fake grass which is going to go out to about the midpoint and then we're going to be having um some rocks over there similar kind of idea to what i did round at the front but i'm going to be doing that here in in the back and showing you kind of what i've done with that uh, and along with that there's going to be a water feature over there some sort of mini pond or maybe a little bridge just a small one over in that corner so yeah it's, it's coming together wow obviously my next job is to empty this shed now i've got this one up temporarily i can move the bits that are in there into that shed and the inside of that can be left then um for now because obviously i'm not going to do any more to the inside of that until the other one's in and it's all connected up but uh yeah so the next job is empty this uh, my parents are actually having this shed i'm giving that to them because i don't want this big one um so yeah the plan is for now to move it up into the top left corner just up there we get the bookworms going to go into the shed and yeah that's the plan really i'll just show you around inside it now it's done as well here's a look back at the garden from this side and looking back to the house just there as well like i said we're probably going to do some sort of canopy up there but maybe get a retractable one just so we get a lot of natural light still going into the house but um i will decide on that at a later date not the priority at the moment but here we go here's a look inside the barn shed so yeah like i said there is going to be the entrance door which we're going to cut out just there uh, and then that's going to lead in obviously this is all needs to be boarded out and everything yet this has got to be dug down further this is for the bookworm because the worm stands taller than this shed so yeah we've got to dig down a little bit here and he's going to stand up here very similar to how it was um back in my old shed well this is the old shed but in its old location however instead of it being in the middle here we've pushed it to the left there's then going to be a doorway here that is going to lead through uh, making it a big owl shape so the reason why we've not got any wood on there is because it's going to be connecting up to the new shed and also as well a lot of the wood had rotted on that side because it was the basically this side used to be up against a garage um, so it was fine and this side had rotted so we decided we'll spin it round uh, and cut a door in that side instead of just using it the other way um, and then putting a door in there if that makes sense um, it just meant having to buy less wood to repair bits on here however we did repair the top section just up here uh, as you can see and put some nice new wood on there but yeah for now that's just going to be blocked in a little bit of storage to clear room for the rest of the garden and then obviously in the next few weeks this is all going to be the next project which is a completely different project in itself clearing all this getting some foundations in and then the arrival of the big six by four meter Right then, well I've carried on work here in the garden and a couple of hours later it's looking a lot tidier now. I've moved quite a few bits around, I've took the bits from that smaller shed and put them into the barn and also had a run down to the tip as well. Along with that we've moved all of the nice decking pieces all around here as well. Uh, so yeah, I'll give you a bit of an update and show you how it looks yeah so this is looking a lot better here now and it's ready to start building the framework for the 2.4 meter long decking pieces obviously the rest of this is going to come off i've left it in place for now just so we've got access here without going straight onto the sand just to go down to the bins here but yeah um, that's pretty much ready for the base to start going on obviously you can see where the decking is going to come out to now kind of in line with here and like i said we're going to have the artificial grass here and then some nice stones just over there the christmas tree which is going to go into place over there uh, the reason why i plan my christmas tree is because it's so big and um, yeah it'll fit nicely and then of course you're going to be looking down there at the other shed when it comes well yeah here's all the nice fiberboard decking pieces got them there all 55 of them so brought them through and uh, put them into place and yeah something else that's happened is that I've moved this shed so I didn't actually need to dismantle it it was really easy actually literally just was able to push it from there where there's a concrete base over into that corner just to get it out of the way really for now um, like I said this is going to be going around to my parents but for now I've just pushed it over there might need to do something with it in the next few days when I start on the decking because obviously the decking runs in line with the house and I'm not too sure on the clearance in that corner um, but we'll see tell you what though now that's pushed over there 
you realise how spacious this is going to be. Because obviously before um, that, that shed was there, we'd just put the barn up. It was all looking a bit like the back of a garden centre. <laughs> but yeah, it's looking better now. Uh, just underneath here, we've got the worm ready to lift round to the side there. But uh, yeah, it's really heavy. So going to need my dad and a few of us to actually help carry that round and put it in the shed um of course where he's going to be anyway i mean that all needs fitting out inside that's just storage for now um but yeah this is empty and like i say it's looking pretty good so yeah you can kind of stand down here now you get a nice view of how this is going to be uh, along with that i've been talking about how I'm going to have some sort of canopy out the back well i've changed my mind a little bit now the reason that i wanted a canopy was outdoor seating and also as well for access from the house round into the museum however what i'm thinking now instead of doing all of this with a roof on because i like that natural light coming in i'm going to have a little canopy just here and then my main undercover seating is going to be all down here. So you're going to have a roof come out over this part and then have some sort of maybe a corner seating down here um, because all this is going to be decked out. And before the decking was going to end here and was just going to do a little strip down to the shed. Well, I'm going to need to order a few more bits of this because I'm going to actually have it in line with the shed just here now. But you don't know with these things. Obviously, I've mocked it all up on the computer, but you don't know how it's going to look until you actually start doing it. So there you go. That's a bit of the garden update for you. I'll just give you an aerial view out the bedroom window as well. And here we go, a nice aerial view of the garden. Yeah, you get a good idea now on the size and scale of it because before you couldn't really tell. Now we've got an anchor point in there, obviously the barn shed. You get a good idea on how it's all going to be now. So yeah, the big shed down the bottom, which will connect onto this one. The door in here, a covered over area and the decking down here at the bottom. Hey, here we are then back on the sofa. Not see Charlotte for a while. I know, I've been busy, I've been doing the housework. Yeah, what have you been up to then? I've been doing a bit of cleaning, a bit of cooking, just stuff like that. Yeah, a bit of ironing. Yeah, yeah. going into town, getting some shopping. Yeah, that's the thing though, like it's been good because I've been cracking on with that. Charlotte's been doing exactly. that. Exactly, I've been busy as well. Yeah, that's the thing, yeah, and we've got a lovely uh, clean house whilst we're doing all the work. Exactly, you've done a really good job. Yeah, do you like it? Yeah, you've done a fantastic job. Like, you're starting to see now my vision exactly, for the garden. Yeah, like, which is really exciting. You've got to trust me with this stuff i do know what i'm doing i like to think so anyway it looks good <laughs> but yeah i think it's gonna be really nice when it's done we're finding at the moment we're getting a little bit of mud still trading into the kitchen so once we've got that decking in it's gonna stop that i've been mopping away <laughs> i think it's just because i mean we've been leaving our shoes outside out the way but because um you know we've been kind of walking out yeah, to the bins been bits of mud everywhere. just like little, little bits, bits coming in so yeah that'll be better for exactly, you exactly yeah. uh, in a couple of days but uh, anyway we're gonna be putting up some furniture um this evening so yeah we're gonna do a bit of that and we'll give you an update later on we've got a few bits happening tonight we have we've got a wardrobe and some bedside cabinets yeah they've actually just been delivered we mentioned in the last one that we'd order some uh, and then next week the bed's coming as well i can't wait oh really looking forward to that so yeah i'll we'll, uh, give you a bit of an update later on uh how the new furniture looks before we wrap up this vlog Right then, well, just before we show you what we've done upstairs, we've got something special to show you now. Right, it's Halloween week. We're feeling spooky, so we have got Spooky Colin. Hey, it's Colin the Caterpillar. Oh, classic, we love Colin the Caterpillar. 12 pounds from Marks and Spencers. And he's wrapped in white chocolate goodness. Let's get him out of the box. Let's crack him open. Oh, look at that. Oh. Absolutely, looks divine. The argument falls here now. <laughs> Because who's getting the piece with his face? If you want it, Charlotte, you can have it. I mean, I could half it, to be honest. Because sometimes you get his little feet and stuff. Oh, look at his feet on the side. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, I cannot wait. Right, we've got a taste review coming up from Colin the Caterpillar from M&S. <laughs> There's a look at Colin's bottom, covered in squirty cream here as well. I am looking forward to giving this a taste. Right then, so we've put him in the bowl just here. But I've decided now... That really is a cake, isn't it? So we've got to just pick it up. I was planning on using a spoon, but all this chocolate is really hard. Here we go. Let's, let's give it a try. Mm. Oh, I've got a cream on my nose. Mm. Right, the cake is really nice inside, and the chocolate is lovely. But because it's so thick, it's just quite hard to kind of manoeuvre. What do you think, Charlotte? I mean. Mm. The cake's a classic Colin, you can't beat classic Colin. But classic Colin with white chocolate melted on him, it doesn't work. I think it's really tasty. It's just so hard. It's a bit awkward of how to eat it. Mmm. Mmm. Oh yeah. Really, you want to be putting it in the microwave for a couple of seconds maybe? <laughs> right. So our final thoughts are 
Colin, you need a different Halloween costume next year because <laughs> you being a mummy does not work. The cake itself is so nice, but the chocolate around the outside being so hard, it ruins it for me. Look how messy I am. <laughs> it's so messy. It's just so hard to eat and it just makes it really sickly. So unfortunately, Halloween Colin's getting a four out of 10. I'll give it a five, because I thought it was nice, but I agree with Charlotte. I am slightly disappointed. Oh no. At 12 pounds from M&S, I was hoping for a bit better. Change your Halloween costume, Colin. Something I'm not disappointed in, though, is the new wardrobe that's just gone in upstairs. Yeah, let's go and have a look. Right, here we are in the bedroom. We've had some nice bedside cabinets. Hey, yeah, I've got them built up, and I tell you what, they look really nice. They do, they're fitting just nice. We've had some new bad side lights as well. Some what, sorry? Bedside some bad lights. side lights just over there. There you go, is that a bad, bad side light? Side light. Are, they, are they bad, are they, or something? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they are, the bad side lights. Yeah, so we're introducing the pink into this room, that's the plan. So obviously, we've got that lovely pink picture, which is going to be going up there, but we're not putting that up yet until the bed's in. This is indeed. The, uh, the bad side the bad cabinets. Side <laughs> yeah, these are really nice actually. They are nice. With the, uh, with the white drawers just there. And they open up nicely. So, yeah, we got one of those each and we thought we'll go for the nice lights. They were from BM. I think they were 15 I think it was pounds. 18, 18 pounds. pounds. Each, yeah. And we got the nice. cabinets just here. They were from Argos. And also from Argos, just over here, got this lovely sliding double wardrobe. Now, need to get some smaller coat hangers because, yeah, the doors don't close properly at the moment. However, yeah, it's quite nice, this is. So, we've gone for the slider instead of the opening. I've got way too many t shirts. That's what I've discovered doing this. But, uh, yeah, these coat hangers brings the clothes out too far. However, these ones are right. So, obviously, I don't want all these coloured ones. These are my old ones, really. So, going to get some brand new ones. But temporarily, just put them like that. It's typical. Bought loads of nice new black coat hangers here. And then, uh, yeah, they don't really fit in right. <laughs> so, yeah, that's going to have to be changed. As you can see, it moves across. But, yeah, it's quite uh, quite nice, this is. On a sliding mechanism, which is, uh, which is pretty good. But, yeah, there you go. I'll tell you what, though. Bedroom's looking better now because we took all the stuff out the windows there. We need to get a few more things for in here, don't we? Yeah, I think we're going to have something in either side of the windows. And um, I think we're going to have a mirror up here. Obviously, the photo that we've got the that we got from the range up there. Yeah, the big picture. We're going to have a nice new canvas done there. And then we're going to have a rug here, I think. Yeah, and we're going to bring in the pink quite a bit, yeah, I think. Yeah, just a little bit of colour that's what it needs. Yeah, definitely. We're not going to have any black in here. We're going to keep it no, great white and bit, like pink. Like a light pinky colour. Mm, yeah, definitely. But uh, we've also done a few other bits, actually, today. So I'll show you those before wrapping up this Action Packs home vlog. Okay then, over here now, into the bathroom. Now let's just admire this cabinet that I actually <laughs> made myself and put all the screws and stuff in. Oh, I thought you meant you actually made it then, as in like, yeah. you ever bought the wood? I built yeah. it together. <laughs> but we didn't want anything too big, because we didn't want to knock our head when we're on the toilet, just to put a few cosmetic bits in. Yeah, just got a couple of shelves in there. And yeah, it's only very thin. It's only about 15 centimetres, I think, something like that, off yeah, the wall. Yeah, so it's not too bad. It means you can just sit on the toilet without whacking your head. Sit on the toilet and then you won't whack your head. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just what you all wanted to see exactly. there. Yeah, fantastic. But, uh, here we go. Making our way in here into where all the theme parks have stored. And uh, yeah, I've just put that blind up in there to match the other one. We mentioned this a few weeks ago, but um, with that blind was already in on the right. And we went to Ikea and we found the matching one. So that is over there. And yeah, here's a reminder on that picture that's going in the bedroom. And uh, we've not put it up yet because we want to get it nice and even with the bed. But yeah, this is still not great in here. But this will all come together once the garden project, of course, with the British Theme Park Museum, is all sorted out. Right, downstairs now to show you one final thing. And just here in the living room, we've actually got the mirror up now. So yeah, I bought this one from the range. And yeah, I've had it for quite a while. I've just not had a chance to put it up yet. So there you go. Got the nice mirror up just there on the wall. Kind of Art Deco style. But yeah, it's nice that is. I really do like it. Uh, yeah, I think it just looks great on the wall. Obviously, we've got the canvas on that wall there. And that means the living room is all done. Now, I know a lot of you have been commenting about our curtains. It took me a bit of time to realise that I actually put one on the wrong way round. I see what you mean now, so I will get that sorted. I've not done it yet. Uh, there was quite a few comments about that. Nearly as many as the bread bin <laughs> that we still haven't got. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it's all come together really nicely. Yeah, really worked hard. Yeah, these past few days again. Lovely. It's nice to know that the front room's all finished now. Which is yeah, the bedroom, the bed's coming in the it's next indeed. update. We'll have the bed in. And the bed will be here. And major work in the garden coming up as Definitely. well. Definitely. Watch this space. 
Oh, I tell you what, it's nice to just sit down on the sofa after another busy few days working on the house. It is indeed. We've covered a lot we in have. this vlog. Uh, obviously out in the garden, digging up the grass. Thanks to my dad for coming round and helping do the barn shed as well. Um, but yeah, I wasn't expecting to have started the garden yet really, considering we've not been in a month thought yet. thought it would be a bit later. Yeah, maybe mid-November, something like that. Um, but yeah, that's all come together well. And then of course, we've uh, done a lot of work inside the house as well. We haven't have we? indeed. Which has been good. And uh, Charlotte's dad came round, helped out with some of that which as was well. Very nice. um, so yeah, we've had a lot of support from our parents as well with the move, Lovely, which has been yeah. great. Uh, and getting everything together. Um, but yeah, doing some furniture. The bedroom's coming on nicely now. The front room's looking a little bit tidier. And we've got the mirror up down here. Exactly. So yeah, overall, everything's coming together really nicely it now. Is. We're still just under a month of being in. And uh, we've got something a bit different planned for you next, haven't we? We have indeed. We're going to be doing a Halloween bake and pumpkin carving. It's going to be like a bit of a Halloween special special here on the Sandbrook Adventures. Uh, yeah, Charlotte's going to lead this one, aren't you, as I well? I am so. We're going to do some baking and we're going to do some pumpkin carving. Yeah, we're looking forward to looking it. Forward. Yeah, Charlotte's just got a couple of pumpkins, actually. I have indeed. I can just see them over there in the kitchen. <laughs> and that'll be coming up in the next couple of days. Bit of a Halloween special here on our channel. Thank you very much for watching and, and have, have your, your own, own adventures. adventures. See you all in the Halloween special.